Hi everyone, this is Piyush Ranjan, the founder and chief consultant of Management Masters, a boutique admissions consultancy firm for the top MBA and MIM programs in the world. Now, in the last few videos, we have talked about various aspects of how do you build your self-awareness. Now, when we talk about self-awareness, we are talking about the different things that you have done in your life until this point before you start applying for your MBA or MIM. Now, this will include what are your key strengths, what are the key experiences that you have had, what is your career story and a look towards your future in order to say what are your goals after your MBA or your MIM. Now we have talked about the key strengths and how to figure out your career story in our previous videos. In today's video what we are going to talk about is how do you actually find out your long-term or your short-term goals. Now finding short-term and long-term goals is absolutely essential if you are planning to apply for an MBA or MIM programs, at least the top ones. So the first question that often pops up in the candidates minds is why do they actually need to worry so much about their short-term and long-term goals obviously everybody is going for an MBA or MIM to improve their prospects to improve their careers or to get a career jump the thing is when you talk about the top MBA programs or the top MIM programs these B schools are not just looking for people who have achieved a lot in the past these B schools are also looking for people who will be the future leaders who will have a vision for themselves and who also have a plan for themselves as to how they, do they want to achieve their vision. So that's what you need to create when you're applying to the top programs. What are your long-term and your short-term goals is almost the most cliched essay question that you will ever get. And be prepared if you get an interview call that you will be asked this question during the interview as well. So let's start diving into how do you actually figure out your long-term and short-term goals. So. The first thing that we need to do is to figure out your long-term goal. The long-term goal is basically the vision that you have for yourself. How do you actually create a vision for yourself? You need to start thinking and dive deep into what are the things that you like to do. You can start by various things. It could be inspired by your professional career. It could be inspired by your personal journey. So you need to figure out the different areas that really interest you. It could be an industry that you are fascinated with. It could be an issue or a cause such as the environmental problems that we are facing. Or it could be a particular group of people that you would like to help. It could also be something else. If you do your homework properly, then you might realize that your long-term vision lies somewhere else. But these three areas could help you start with finding your long-term vision. Now, once you have figured out what area are you most interested in, start thinking about what is the problem that you would like to solve. And once you have the problem in your hand, start thinking, why do you actually want to solve this problem? Now, answering these two questions might sound easy, but it's not. Once you have answered these questions successfully, you will get an idea of where you actually want to go. Now, once you've answered these two questions, your job doesn't end there. It has just started, in fact. So you've just answered what a problem interests you the most and why. And then you need to figure out an answer to what will be a particular role that will help you achieve a solution for this particular problem. If you have your answer to all these three questions, then that will give you the answer for your long-term goal. Now, once you've finalized your vision for the next 20 years, you need to start reverse engineering your career plan and see what will be the positions which will help you get to that position in 20 years time. So you need to start with your short term goal that will be post MBA. So what are the skills that you would gain from an MBA which will help you achieve your position 20 years in time and then start planning your career similarly so that from post MBA to 20 years in time you have a very step by step analysis of how do you actually plan to reach your long term vision. Now, once you have done this you have a solid career action plan in hand. And this will also give you answers to various questions such as why do you want to do an MBA and how can this particular school help you with the MBA. All these steps might sound very simple and easy to do but you need to put a lot of thought into this when you start doing your career action plan and doing the planning for the next 20 years. If you feel any issues in doing these steps alone 
feel free to reach out to your friends and family so that they can help you by providing you genuine feedback about your dreams and your goals. Otherwise, you can also reach out to professional consultants so that they can help you in formulating a good career plan for yourself. Also, act as a soundboard for you so that your aims and goals are all aligned with your vision and every step is logical. If you like this video, please feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for their MBAs or for their MIM programs. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn or Instagram so that you can receive regular updates about what all we post on social media. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.